Well, we're back with your Into the Wild segment here on your Feel Good Breakfast Show today. And today we are focusing on marine waste and pollution and this massive, massive problem that is staring us in the face when it comes to our world oceans. We are talking to Dr. Jenna Jambeck this morning just to unpack exactly how big this problem is and what we can do to possibly turn things around in the future. Dr. Jenna, once again, welcome for joining us. Uh, we're very, very nice to have you this morning. Um, let's talk about the African Marine Waste Network. Exactly what is that? Yeah, this is a new network that is is um, being started by the Sustainable Seas Trust here in South Africa, but it's all of the countries within the African continent seeing that this problem is more than just one country and sort of grouping together, mm -hmm. uh, together can they work together and have resources to be able to address this issue across the continent. Okay, uh, well I love the fact that they've actually established something like this because at the end of the day it, it'll take a whole, let's say, community working together, and, uh, you know, in this case the whole country, <laughs> yeah. the continent yes. working together. But what is very sad is, sad is the fact that Africa is the second most polluted continent on the planet. And I had no idea it was that bad so i think on that note what can we do i think you know talking to corporates and maybe individuals as well to try and start turning things around we got to look after our oceans mm -hmm. yeah i think you can can think of this as sort of some shared responsibilities you've Absolutely. got the personal citizen you've got municipalities and governments and you've got industry and corporations and i think they can kind of all work together on the individual level we can think about reducing sort of our use of plastics mm. and think about uh, simple mundane things that taken collectively they really make a difference so mm. reusable water bottles reusable bags things like that uh, municipalities working to develop infrastructure I visited some places that had really um, created some great engineered landfill facilities and recycling facilities and so they can develop and then corporations can have some responsibility in helping to facilitate some mm. of that and providing resources and ideas. Now, what is the ecological effect of marine waste on the environment, the marine environment specifically? I can imagine it must be it must be huge. Yeah. Well, I think, you know, the two most common things that you tend to see are entanglement of animals. And so that's oftentimes bigger things. So actually fishing gear um, that's lost to the environment then can actually ghost fish and catch uh, animals, and that's very uh, detrimental. And then also um, ingestion. So we talked about animals consuming. So the bigger items um, can fill their belly and then they'll starve to death or they won't be able to feed normally. Mm. Um, and then, you know, some of the things we're not sure, some of the smallest microplastic can be consumed by the smallest creatures in our food web. Yeah. And, we're, and we don't know exactly how that that's going to transpose all the way up to us who participate in the same food web. Exactly, exactly. It's very, very scary. Now, I do know that, of course, we live in a technological era. What advances have been made to, to try and take care or change the direction and what the marine pollution is going? Well, I think we're trying to rethink some of our product design and materials to promote recycling. Um, mm. You mentioned recycling earlier, and, yeah. and that's going to be important if we think about um, how we can even shift our economy to more of a circular economy and things like uh, mobile phones can facilitate sharing things. You can mm. think of like Airbnb and Uber, which is now you know getting yeah. big here. So kind of um, innovative changes. And mm. then we have... Um, a way we've used mobile technology for people to report when they see litter in the environment okay. and when they're cleaning it up. It's called Marine Debris Tracker. It's a mobile app and you can use it on iPhone or any Android phone and um, be part of um, over a million things have been reported all over the world when people find it and pick it up. Yeah, just to, just to get the message and the word out there. And then I really do hope that you know we can collectively stand together here yeah, globally, not only as a nation here, but globally to try and turn things around because we've yeah. got to take care of our ocean because that knock-on effect, I can imagine, is, is, is big you know, for us humans as well. Yes, they're essential to our life. So thank you for, for addressing this issue.